Welcome back to the Gentleman's Motor Racing Team. In this episode, see what I've got for the Rally Mini. It's been a while since I've placed an order with anyone, to be honest. Cash has been fairly strapped, let's just say that. No, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> fan. I'd really like a metal fan like Toonie's got or had for his van, because uh, that would look really period. Um, however, it'd be interesting to know, I'm guessing, did they move over to these fans because they were more efficient or cheaper to produce? Because on a Mark II, I'd really like that metal fan. Um, just because uh but yeah oh there's some size differences as well isn't there uh, i think the reason tooney hasn't fitted it to his van is it wouldn't fit in the shroud so are the two piece ones and the one piece ones different size we'll have to find out anyway i need one of those whether i put it on the rally mini or not Look at that, that's very eco packaging, isn't it, from Mini Spares. Well done, Mini Spares. Tie bar bushes. And these are the ones where they're harder on one side and then on the other. Um, and these were really good price. Tie bar bush kit for use. Important note, use very stiff or hard tie rod bush on the side of the subframe bracket is most definitely recommended. Most definitely recommended. There we go. Uh, I use those on all my minis. Good price and they work really well. What's that? Oh, thermostat gaskets. Uh, I just bought two. One for the build and one for a spare. You've always got to have a spare whether it's I don't know whether you're on the road or racing in that kit. What is that? <gasps> okay, this is the rocker cover that's going on the Rally Mini. Yeah, I'm going for the period look. Uh, and I have somewhere. Oh no, they sent me the wrong one. Or I've ordered the wrong one. Dick, name it. Or oh, maybe they've sent me multiple ones. Well, I thought I'd bought. <laughs> bought the Morris sticker to go on there look but I've got the Westlake patent sticker so I really want them I've now got it I'm gonna stick it on there anyway but I want the Morris sticker to go on there now I have got the aluminium plates the ones that you rivet on and I don't know who it was I was watching someone and they said well if you do that you can't just use like a normal rivet um, because you know it has like the pin that you pull to squidge it if that and then it snaps off and it leaves a little bit of it in there to plug the hole effectively. And they said, quite rightly, if through vibration or time or heat or anything like that, that little stub of the pin in the middle of your pot rivet falls out, it's going to fall into your engine and cause an awful lot of carnage. Um, so they said, if you do that, you have to punch that pin out and fill it with a bit of metal filler or, or anything you know something to stop that from happening and i was like well yeah you're right i do like the steel it looks good but do i want to run the risk of stuff ending up in the engine bait uh, engine no i don't so i thought oh you know what go for stickers it looks like i've ordered the wrong sticker never mind it's not the end of the world i can always order another one Oh, here we go. This is for the rocker cover as well. So that's uh, new seals that go on the top. Those bits there, because they, as you can see, have had it. So I've been painting the entire engine in that old, whatever it is. Block enamel gloss. BMC 
Mowog Green. <laughs> I've hand painted it, and I have, you know, if you want to see someone that's done a very good job, go and see Toonie. So he, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Um, my engine's going to get covered in dirt and grease and all sorts of stuff. So I like, want it to look nice, but it, it's no trailer queen. Um, valve stem seals. The brown ones, which I think are on the uh, MPIs or SPIs, they came as standard. And apparently they're much better. They don't, they don't deteriorate or go hard as quickly as the black ones. Um, so I bought enough to rebuild this head, which is going on the race engine, and rebuild the other head, which is going on the other race engine. Yeah, I've got two now. Got to have a spare. What's that? Oh, that's the shake washer. Shake washers that go onto the brake pipes that go onto the front subframe. That was me sticker. Oh, those are bottom arm bushes. Yeah, and I've, even though these are poly, I think um, I've gone for black because I don't, I don't want the in-your-face ricer look. This is. It's not interesting. Engine mount. What's your thoughts on engine mount? I've gone for just your normal engine mount with holes. No captive nuts welded onto them. No pins through the middle. I have had little success. The, the, the ones with the welded on captive nuts seem like a very good idea. The two piece ones with the pin seem like a very good idea. But for some reason, I just don't seem to get on with them at all. Uh, I just stick with the standard one. Trying to get that last nut and bolt in behind the, the wok on the, for us is the driver's side, the back one. That's the hardest one. But yeah, I just I'm quite happy to struggle a little bit. At least I know it works. Oh yeah, why did I do that? I bought a cork rocker cover gasket seal and a latex one. Not a huge difference in price, um, and it's got the cutouts because I'm running the extra studs on one of the engines. Oh, it's got that one on there as well. Uh, don't know which one I'm going to use yet. We'll see. But they're always good to have in stock. Got to have one of them. Whether it's for the race mini as a spare, or a rally mini as a spare, or on the road mini. So, um, what are these big wiggly things? Okay, this is what I'm working on at the moment video will be coming out fairly soon once I've finished the project. These are for the rear quarter light windows. So they're opening rear windows on the on the Mark II. And to help set that up, I need those rubbers. So I've got two of those. They look very similar. No, they're not. And these ones are for the Mark I, II doors. Uh, Again, I'm putting doors on the Mini at the moment, so I need those to make sure that they fit open and close properly before I commit to paint. Yes, we're talking about paint. It won't be long. And oh, I'm so looking forward to not having to do any fabrication. I love fabrication, by the way. But I'm looking forward to not doing fabrication so that I can paint the shell, because once the shell is painted, I can start putting all the cool bits on it. Clutch slave cylinder. I need one. There's actually nothing wrong with the one that's on the engine that I'm going to use. It just looks a little tatty. Um, so I'm and the seal's missing off the end. Uh, as I'm just going to take it off, put a new one on, and keep that one as a spare because. Sod's law, at an event, if that slave cylinder goes and I don't have a spare, then I could carry on, but it won't be pretty, would it? 
Mark 1, 2. Front sun frame, bump stops. Yep, so on a, a Mark 4 onwards, they just have one big bolt that goes through or stud. I don't know. I don't really mess <laughs> Don't have a lot of experience with uh, modern minis. Whereas on the older ones, it's a two piece and they're a bit of an ass to put in and out. But that's the design because that's how the subframe is made. Good. What's that? Oh, oh. Now there's another video coming up fairly soon with the fuel tank. Oh, wow, that was very nicely done. So. That is fuel gauge. I needed a new one of those. Look how it was stored in the box. I suppose that's to stop the needle from getting damaged. So, oh. like a lot of my little projects, the fuel tank has proved to be a little bit more complicated than I originally uh, planned. Just to give you a heads up, not wanting to spoil the video, but, uh, I wanted to fit a fuel sender into the aluminium fuel tank as well as some other stuff and then I realized that the fuel sender that I bought didn't match the fuel gauge just it didn't there's science behind it also I found out only through trial and error that the fuel gauge that I was using to test the fuel gauge fuel sender uh, wasn't working correctly so I had to take the fuel sender out of my mark one to test then it went, okay, we know what's going on. My fuel gauge isn't working correctly. So I've had to order a new one. Surprisingly expensive. So yeah, I'm glad they packaged it well. Because the last thing I want to do is buy a duff bit of kit. Oh, okay, I know what these are. Seals for the standard Cooper S 7.5 discs that I've got on the front. Yes, I'm actually running standard discs on the front of the Mini. Uh, why? Because that's all I've got and that's all I can afford. Um, yes, I think in the future, uh, so I'm gonna run the standard discs, uh, standard calipers, sorry, um, uh, but I'm obviously gonna upgrade the pads. I'm gonna have some fairly decent ones for on the road so that I can you know, test the car and things like that and go for some proper competition pads uh, for when I'm competing. Uh, it, in the future, if I can afford it, yes, I will upgrade the discs, calipers at least. Well, I just want to get out there first. What's this? Uh, process of elimination. It's got to be a water pump. It is. Again, oh, it comes with a gasket. That's good, isn't it? Oh, this is the one with the plastic or whatever you want to call it, doodah. And no bypass. Nothing wrong with the water pump that was on my engine when I took it off. It was just a bit gooey in there, so it needs a good clean out. Uh, and I will keep that one as a spare. Put that in the spares package when we go rallying uh, and fit this one to the engine. So that's good. This bit is not for the rally mini. What was that? Safe cinder. Okay, this bit is not for the rally mini. This is for the Mark 1. Oh, okay, why? Yeah, well, the, the one on the Mark 1 is actually getting a little bit rusty. Um, it's actually started to corrode along the bottom there, and there's a bit of flex in this part of the metal. And I went, well, hang on, that's the bit that actually holds your seat into the car. So I thought, I'll buy a whole new panel. They're not, because I could just repair it. But I thought at the price, I'll get it and we'll see. I might have to fit it before we do um, IMM 2020, which is in Germany. Yeah, I don't want to be um, driving down the autobahns. I don't want to crash full stop. But if I crash, I also don't want my seats to become detached from the car. Now, here's the really exciting bit. Guess what I've been using? as a table during this video. Ah. Boom, a dishwasher. Look at that. So this is donated to the team. 
uh, and I'm going to fit it in the garage so I can wash car parts. That's brilliant. So if you've enjoyed this content, not very exciting, I know, but if you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, check out some of the other videos, and we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.